10-minute drill. This is a big one. Covered by Universal Roof and Contracting. The difference is universal. On 1010XL. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Hit it. All right, sports concepts and rationalizations coming your way. We call it the 10-minute drill. We do it each and every day. And uh, there are sports to talk about. This little, uh, I said I'll give you a little lunacy recruiting notes. And I will right now. Uh, Clemson landed a, a, a commitment from Georgia. Uh, he is a three-star quarterback. His name is Bubba Chandler. That's not what's lun- lunatic or maniacal or crazy or whatever the word is about this commitment. Uh, Bubba Chandler was is a big kid, 6'4", 195. He was going to go to Georgia to play baseball, uh, beef. He's from uh, 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 Bogart, and he's Clemson's first quarterback for the 2021 cycle. He's also going to play baseball, Clemson. Uh, but before that, he had football offers from Troy, Mercer, Western Kentucky, Elon, Gardner, Webb. So not exactly the who's who. Right. So you're like, oh, okay. Um, well, on May 7th, uh, uh, Clemson offered an opportunity to play football and baseball, so he took it. And then, by the way, since Clemson offered, jumping into the fray, Miami uh, and Louisville and Ole Miss. He's skyrocketed <laughs> up the football terrible. charts. <laughs> well, wait Sun- a minute. Sun- oh, you're going to play football? Suddenly's a blue chipper. Clemson thinks you're good enough? Well, come on. It just made me chuckle. Um, he was a little bit surprised by the offer. Uh, he got a text from the Clemson quarterback coach. Uh, clearly, somebody Clemson was after probably didn't come through. Anyway, he's a, yeah, like I said, he's probably, I guess he's a better baseball prospect than football prospect or whatever. Nonetheless, uh, he will go to Clemson where they already have that kid from California who's like a five-star who was, I think, yeah. got there in January, if I'm not mistaken. DJ Ulegalea Lea Lea. Something like that. Um, so, anyway, Bubba, but uh, Bubba Chandler also going to Clemson to play football and baseball. So I, I noticed that. I thought that was kind of strange, too. Yeah. I, th- I assumed when I first saw the, crawl, or the headline that he was giving up baseball, but maybe Clemson's one of those that would let him play both. Maybe well, the That's other what they are. They'll yeah. say he can play both. But the biggest kick I got was the fact that Miami, Louisville, and Ole Miss all jumped in right after Clemson did and said, oh, that's a good idea. Yeah, you can come here too. So um, Ohio State's uh, uh, AD spoke up, and, you know, as, as Ohio State is coming, uh, their student athletes are going back, I think, June 8th, if I'm not mistaken. Gene Smith said, uh, well, we got the facility here, uh, the stadium. We got a big old stadium here. We can social distance twenty to 22,000. I mean, he's – if, if, if he's going 20 to 22,000, they must have a, a, a diagram somewhere where they've put people in their seats and such. And what 20 to 22,000 does is if you get some fans in the stands, those are the big money boosters. Don't kid yourself, okay? Paying a little more. We're going to take care of those boys first. So if you have a suite, you're in, all right? If you are paying for you know, 10 seats a year, making a huge payment to the bull gate or bull Buckeye or bull, whatever you're in. So those I would suspect are the ones that they want to take care of first so they can keep that money. Uh, because that's a big part of the money that they, uh, uh, that these schools raise for football each year. Uh, he said 20 to 22,000, 40 to 50. If the guidelines are rela- relaxed now, it, look, gang, it's only May 21st. And so we could we got the whole summer here in front of us. We got June, July, and August. So by right, yeah, that's what I'm saying. I mean, time we it, play in September. Th- seems uh, things now are getting back to a more normal level quicker yeah. than we thought. And again, I, I I would subscribe to the you know when you go out to dinner and they hand you your buzzer and they'll say it'll be thirty minutes. It's usually twenty. They just don't want to. You know, they want it to be quicker than you thought, not longer than you thought. Right. I think some of that is going on with the projections here but again that's just a guess to determine who would get priority access to the limited seats available smith said the athletic department would first turn to the point system already in place well, then they'll go right to the w2 point system uh, then we consider faculty staff students donors media parents and other groups donors and media donors parents donors students <laughs> wouldn't it be refreshing if they just allowed students in you know it is a college game yeah the ones who pay the, the right. $125 for season tickets? Yeah. Nah. How weak is that? 
Nah. College football season, you're not going to let the students in? They don't have enough points? You mean cash? Is that what you mean, Gene? Uh, Denny Hamlin, a winner in a rain-shortened NASCAR season. I just I, His mask has unnerved me a little bit. Mm-hmm. I don't like it. It's uh, It shook me up. It's creepy. It's a little creepy. It's kind of like the, the Russian nurse with the underwear on underneath. No, she was not near as creepy as him. No, he's much more. He's Denny a, Hamlin has a mask, a surgical mask, but it's his that it's printed with like his face off his picture. So he puts on the mask and he looks like some sort of weird wax figure ventriloquist. Yeah, correct. But I learned this. It's a wonderful world of sports where you, you learn something new every day. I didn't know Denny Hamlin and Jordan were close. Did you know that? Well, he's jump man guy. I thought they had played nope. golf yeah, together, they're, but, but they're I don't know. friends. Like yeah, I don't text know. And yeah, I, I, I didn't, didn't know, know and I didn't know this. You know, Jordan grew up a NASCAR fan going to Darlington with his dad. Yeah. I didn't know that either. We missed that in the last dance. I mean, we had 10 hours. Couldn't we mention NASCAR? Correct. <laughs> the big rumor. Juanita's probably wondering how many hours it would take for her to get a mention. She might have said no. Did you see the Carl Malone interview from 2019? No. Did you see a beef? Yeah, how about we stop sticking mics in front of Carl Malone's face? You hate Carl Malone. Because he's a, he's a turd, dude. <laughs> what what he's happened? What did he say? He's a deadbeat-ass dad. Yeah. Like, he's a bad person. What did yeah. he say? Uh, so, anyway, they uh, in 2019, which is not that long ago. Uh, last year. Yeah. Uh, seems like a long time ago when it comes to our world, but it's not that long ago. Uh, uh, they interviewed Carl Malone, and it looked like it was in some sort of hunting cabin beef. He has a big old white beard. Yeah, he's uh, holed up somewhere. Yeah. Had a big stogie. He had a jazz jersey hanging up in the back. They asked him about Yeah, he's firing up a stogie. Sort of defiantly didn't want to talk about it. Yeah, he just they asked him about Jordan. What do you think of when you say Michael Jordan? Michael Jordan. <laughs> so what? Talked about him stealing the ball from him. He said, I'm a man. I own up to it. Blah, blah, blah. So... Um, we talked so much with Jordan about the flu game that wasn't. Today on Sports Center, they did a throwback to the year before, and Jordan had a game where he was super sick at, at Utah. I didn't even remember. Yeah. Did you remember that one, Beef? Which one now? Which one? In 97, the game five at Utah, he was sick as a dog. Something about Utah. It was 98 where we thought no, he had No, 97 was the flu game. Oh, that was the flu game. Yeah. yeah. I was thinking that was his no, last was game in 98. No. no, that was 97. Oh. Well, never mind then. Yeah, I'm I'm reading some stuff on Carl Malone that are, is not exactly flattering. So uh, I can see why Beef says the things that he says. Uh, he's, yeah, <laughs> yeah, he's not a good dude. Yeah, but nonetheless, I I, lot, he's a great of, player. Yeah. Now, now, um, probably doesn't get enough credit as a player. I gets a lot, I think. Oh boy, yeah, I'm not gonna. Oh boy. Uh, uh, with all that said, the other thing coming out of the uh, the last dance, uh, Scotty's mad. What's he apparently, mad reported, I, thought he was, reported, I, thought apparently. I thought he was okay with it. Now, first. isn't Scotty on the jump regularly, Beef? He has been. I don't know if he still is. Okay. Uh, but, yeah, but, uh, you know, like a friend of a friend, you know, you get a uh, telephone game. Cousin of a source inside yeah, the source. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, so uh, I think it was ESPN 1000. The same guy that interviewed Horace uh, said a friend – of Scotty Pippen said, quote, what I was told yesterday is that he, that being Pippen, is so angry at Michael and how he was portrayed. He's furious that he participated and didn't realize what he was getting himself into. Very upset. Kind of like his contract. I don't understand why. I mean. Uh, well, you just said. I mean, Scotty Pippen was well, but that's drugged all, down, not lifted yeah, up. But he confer the reason, the reason why he's portrayed badly, badly, and tell me if I'm wrong here, Beef. Is because he sat there in interview recently and said, "I mean, he uh, said he would do it again. Yeah, he'd do everything again. So, he wouldn't have gone back in the game again. He uh, uh, waited to have surgery so he could enjoy his summer." Yeah, um, I'm not really sure what Scotty's issue is with it. Well, yeah. I, I'll tell you what it is. The words were out of Scott, his mouth. Scotty, that's what I mean. I, I don't. You could argue that yes, if sir. you're doing a. And again, you could argue that uh-huh. if you're doing a documentary on Jordan's run with the Bulls, mm-hmm. that's what this is about, right? We've determined it's the Michael Jordan story, correct? Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, when Scottie Pippen took a pass on going back in the game, Michael Jordan wasn't in the building. He wasn't a Chicago Bull. Yeah. And that was a big part. I mean, a relatively big part of the documentary was basically Scottie Pippen refusing to go into a game. It wasn't. And, a, it was. It was a chunk of one of the. Yeah, but it was. It was like a. A segment of one of the shows, but you know, um, Jordan called him selfish. 
Well, he, okay, but to Beef's point. Yeah. If, if I'm Scottie Pippen, okay, you're gone. I say I'm not going back into a game, and 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 it's pointed out, and I've lived that a long time. But, you know, it's funny, but when, when Doug Collins got on Jordan, um, he decided he would show him and only shoot it. What was it, five times, Beef? Something like that, yeah. yeah. I mean, that's, that's just as bad as what Scottie did. You're on the floor playing less than your best. I'd rather have somebody. I'd rather have five playing their best and their hardest than have four and one who's not. Yeah, I just. I, I'm not saying. It's, I don't know it's why evil. he he he. Jordan said, "Look, Jordan's a hypocrite. We know that. I mean, if you wrong him, he'll turn on you. Right. Okay, so we get. We already know that about Jordan. I guess we maybe we didn't know that about Scotty. Maybe we're learning that. But and we all know this is Michael Jordan's Michael Jordan story. Yes. Right, and I am the best of so all time. So he's the Think hero back, in every do you, version. Do you want to do you want to go replay his Hall of Fame speech right. if you need confirmation? Now, about, uh, listen. All being said, I don't think they, that he treated him unfairly. Yeah, I think he said wrong. quote because he Jordan said, said this in yeah, the document. Without him, I'm whenever nothing. they say Michael Jordan, they should say Scottie Pippen. Yeah. Everybody says I won all these championships, but I didn't win without Scottie Pippen. And that's I, Jordan's That's words. correct. That's, that's a, why I consider him my greatest teammate of all time. Yeah, that's uh, either. Yeah, you're. Yeah, no, that's. Boom. Yeah, I don't know why you would that that's that supersedes any negative. So so to review with Pippen though, don't forget the migraine too. And that was a was that a game seven or was that a it was a deciding game though, right? It was a it was a pivotal game, yeah. Yeah. So he got the migraine. Uh he he ta- he wouldn't do surgery in the offseason. That's what Jordan called him selfish for, which it was. Yeah, that was a game seven of the 90 Eastern Conference Finals. Right. They lost yeah, to the Pistons. I, 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 and right. I, know, I know that the one's a higher level player, but they're both top 50 players. But, you know, Pippen's not the only guy that's ever done that, especially in a contract dispute. We also all agreed that the Bulls were screwing Pippen big time on salary. No question. Six highest paid guys. So, yeah, yeah no question. I know that we're going to be winning it all at the end of the year. I'm going to get my, you know, if you're only going to pay me yeah. for a third of a season? Yeah. I'll give you a third of a season. Yeah. So, I mean, at that age especially, that's somewhat yeah. understand. I remember remember the year Shaq with the Lakers didn't get his foot done until September? It's, yeah. It's not the only. That's no, all. We've always asked that question. Shaq yeah, was not, the king it's, of it's not a good look. I'm not saying that's the right play no. just because others have done it. But no. it's but not. the all-timer was not going back in the game. That is an all-timer. I, I mean, and that's you can't where, justify and his that. Play, I mean, it, not us. We're not judging him. His teammates judged right. him in that. Well, and we can or, judge him. Or quitter was throwing any, around. Any fan. Right. He any, quote, quit what, on us. What did Phil say? Bleep him? Tony, you're in? Yeah. Any sport. No, it wasn't Tony. It was we'll uh, yeah, Myers. Yeah. Yeah. Peter, yeah, Tony got the shot. Yeah. Tony had the <laughs> shot to begin with. So. Yeah. Who was it? Pete Myers? Pete Myers. Pete Myers. Bulls it. legend. Pete, get in the game. Huh? Huh? I'm in the Bahamas. I don't what? ever play. What? I don't know what. What? Where do I stand? Phil, I don't know how to tell you this. I'm not wearing a uniform underneath this warm-up because I'd never take it off. <laughs> I'm nude underneath this. <laughs> Then we would have had a whole nother documentary. <laughs> the Pete Myers saga. Pete's, Pete's folly. <laughs> but nonetheless, uh, 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 yeah, so, and again, Scotty hasn't come out and said it, and I don't know why when, when he's going to be on the jump, but hopefully he will be on the jump uh, uh, soon. So, uh, we shall see. Yes, sir. I mean, this isn't a new argument, but there's been so much Jordan lately. It's gotten me think about other basketball uh, entities and storylines of the last, gosh, 50 years. I, I, I'm, I'm curious. You know, there's a guy out there that never even enters the conversation of best player all time, and I'm just wondering why he doesn't. Who would that be? In basketball? Yeah. Well, the only guy. The reason why he, he never he enters is, the, is because and, and with Jordan all, wins. R.J. Barrett? No, no, no. I'm talking about a former Soak player. Him up. I'm Soak talking up about a former. Lessons. He is the only player in my mind that can argue equal billing with Michael Jordan. He's well, the only player of the, all time. The guy I always say is Wilt. Yeah, I, no, I put this guy ahead of Wilt. But uh, Kareem? Kareem Abdul-Jabbar yeah. has as many MVPs as Jordan. Yeah. He has as many rings as Jordan. Yeah. He's the all-time leading scorer. Yeah. He's second all-time in rebounds. He's second all-time in blocks. Yeah. He might be the best player to ever play. He gets no run. I mean, That's none. True. That's true. I would take Kareem Abdul-Jabbar over LeBron James in their prime in a heartbeat. In his prime, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar was unstoppable. He was great. And I, I just don't know, is, is it certainly personality, especially in that era? Was it the fact that by the time a lot of uh, basketball fans saw Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, he was, you know, in his later heyday with the, with the, with the Lakers and Magic and Worthy were the main stars? Well, but, how, how many championships did he win? Five, right, or six? Six. Same as Jordan. Six rings. Five how many did the, Magic win? Five, right? Didn't they win five together? I could be four. 
Uh, it's more than that, I think. Yeah, Jordan, I think they won five. And he won one with the um, – he has the six-time NBA champion, 80-82, 85, 87, 88. Two-time finals MVP. Uh, six-time MVP of the league. 71, 72, 74, 76, 77. No, Jordan didn't stranglehold the league for a longer period of time than that. Ten-time All-NBA first team. The other five seasons, he was All-NBA second team. He was 11 times on the NBA's All-Defensive team, first team or second team. He was the Rookie of the Year. He's a scoring champion all time. I, it's, it, well, I can, you know, as, as you rattle that off, I can do that with Wilt. No, you can't. You can't get to the victories or the MVPs or any of those things that Kareem has. And you can't get to the scoring total. You can't get there. You can get close. He's really good. You can't match that uh, resume. It's I, unmatchable. I, I can match it. In How? Different, in different ways. What, in what way? 50 points a game in okay, a season. Okay, that's, uh, again, that's a 30 size. points a game over that's his a, career. That's like saying Trey Young is better than, you know, somebody averaging less points. That's just scoring. He didn't win. Right? He won. He won two championships. Yeah, that's six, though. Well, I mean, the teams that they were on. Well, uh, Jerry West and, huh? you know, uh, Wait, did Connie Hawkins. Kareem have the, 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 the Bill Russell, uh, Bob Cousy, Sam Jones, Casey Jones, uh, Havlicek, Heinsohn, uh Celtics to deal with? Red Auerbach? Well, if- and that, that's an awesome team, but I'm not sure that team is better than... A lot of people say that... I don't know if that, that team that's better than Bird, Parrish, Johnson, McHale, Ainge. I'm not sure A that lot team of people say them. that the, the, the 72 Lakers might have been one of the greatest teams ever. That's the team that won 33 in a row with Wilt, right? Yeah. I, you know... I I, did I, that I, team win? Yeah. And the 67 Philadelphia 76ers were pretty good, too. I don't know. I just... I, I, that's why, I think maybe that's why. And the other thing is, he's a, to answer your question, maybe because he's a center too, and the centers seem to get off to the side. Like uh, centers, the centers should almost they argue against each other. Seeing that basketball is a game where the taller you are, the better. It seems like center would get it's more weird. credit. I know, you know that makes you more valuable I if was, you're the center. Yeah. Someone theorized that you know, like during his heyday, like he wasn't the 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 presence of Will, and he also didn't have early on the the. Success of say a Bill Russell, so he sort of got lost in the mix. Well, he was my, in Milwaukee for a lot of right. years. My too, man won. Uh, okay, I, agree, I agree. I'm going to yeah. repeat it. He won the MVP in seventy one, seventy two, seventy four, seventy six, and seventy seven. Yeah, I want you to find me any player in the history of basketball that won five in six years. Has anyone done that? Well, the MVP is not is not. I, I can't go with him. Like, we can't give credit to MVP when we sit there and degrade the MVP voters all the time. Like, how could they vote for this guy over that? We do that all the time. So it's hard to sit here and say, well, they got it right on this one, which they probably did. But well, well, I guess that's that I would guess be my point. Because may, LeBron that... should have more MVPs. Michael could have more MVP. You know? But the difference is when LeBron doesn't win Steph Curry, these are Hall of Fame players. It's not like they're going to some willy-nilly. I, I'd have to look back and recall who the other contenders well, were. Chamberlain won it four times. Yeah. I mean, there's two MVPs in Jordan's Not six, career, though. I, well, I mean. He's the all-time. I mean, I, I, I don't. Well, that's I mean, longevity. Will, Will, Will yeah. Chamberlain may. Okay, that also matters. I'm just telling you, Wilt's a better player than Jabbar. I'm just going to say Yeah, it. I disagree. I, no, no doubt in my no, mind. I, yeah. No, Will Chamberlain's a better player than Jabbar. Will. Wilt's teams beat Jabbar's teams more than You're Jabbar's. on an island on that one. Huh? You'd be on an island on that one. They're like a ten percenter is what you would be oh, if you're gonna take Wilt over Kareem. You gotta be a little bit you gotta be a little bit older, a little more a little more sage, you'll have a little more wisdom to go with that one. Okay. Well, again, <laughs> uh, ten percent of you Murphy. geniuses will fit into that category. Not to mention, let's you know, we've got scoreboard in one key area. Oh, settle down. My Not Kevin Murphy is next. I'll have an actor as well. Have... I mean, did you see Conan? <laughs> All right, uh, that's going to do it to it for today's 10-minute drill. 20,000 to 8.